Dear students, I am Shishpal Chauhan and I have brought for you the students of class 12 extract 4 of the poem Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda and there will be comprehension questions after the extract. Let me read the extract 4. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hand. Hurt hands. There are two statements in this stanza. One is fishermen, they would not harm whales, right? And the second one is the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Now the question arises, how the fishermen would not harm whales and how the man gathering would look at his hurt hands. First of all, let, uh, let's take the example of fishermen. Uh, fishermen are engaged in commercial activities. They go in cold sea with big vessels like ships. Uh, they, they go in ships also. They go in big boats also. And they return after filling their big, seas, uh, big ships and big boats with whales. In this way they harm whales. They collect whales. There is no limitation to their collection. They keep on uh, they keep on collecting whales or killing them. They keep on killing them till till their vessels are their ships are overloaded. So it shows that fishermen are greedy. They are exploiting nature. They are and there will be uh, there will be very harmful effect of that exploitation and they are disturbing the balance of nature ecosystem in a way so they are doing harm another thing is that the man gathering salt he is also engaged in commercial activity and his greed forces him to collect more and more salts he does not uh, look at his hurt hands his hands are injured while gathering salt. Salt uh, produces some chemical that hurt his hands. But he does not bother about that because he is under the pressure of greed. He is greedy at that time. He keeps on gathering it. So in this way, uh, two examples are there, fishermen and the man. Fishermen here are not particular fishermen of any part of the country but they represent the, the all they represent all the fishermen th throughout the world you can say and the man gathering salt represents all people engaged in the activity in this commercial activity of uh, gathering salt so when they they join themselves in the campaign of the poet to sit together with all human beings throughout the world for introspection after counting 1 to 12. They will, in a way, they will stop their activity of harming whales and another, the person who are, the persons who are gathering salt, they will also stop their activity. In this way, throughout the world, all activities will be halted they will be uh, all activities will be stopped and in this way their greed can be controlled they would not harm whales because after doing introspection there will be a change in their mentality there will be change in their thoughts right and they will think after because introspection leads human beings uh, to reasonability uh, some reasonable thoughts enter the mind, new thought enter the mind of human beings after doing introspection and that will enable them that they are harming whales and they are doing, uh, they are filling the ship, uh, the fishermen will think that they have, they have uh, collected so many whales so there is no use of uh, harming other whales, let's go let's return to their homes so let's return to our homes they will say and in this way fishermen will return to their homes and the man gathering salt will also return to his home so uh, he will look at his hurt hands uh, after doing introspection uh, because uh, 
the balance of thoughts will be there in his mind and he will think reasonability will enter his mind and in this way he will be more reasonable after doing reasonable after doing introspection so i hope students you must have understood this small stanza and it has deep meaning so now we come to questions name the poem and and its point keeping keeping quiet is the name of the poem and its poet is pablo neruda question 2 is what do the fishermen do in cold sea they catch fish particularly in cold sea how would keeping quiet not harm whales answer is it would not harm them in two ways first they would suspend catching of whales for some time and second they might decide to catch fewer whales after doing introspection fourth question is why would the man gathering salt look at his hands a should be capital after introspection the man gathering the man gathering salt feels satisfied at the quantity of sand he has gathered till then the effect of greed would leave his mind so he would look at his hands hurt due to the chemical effect of the salt gathered by him fifth question is what is the poet's indirect advice to the fisherman the poet's indirect advice to the fisherman is not to catch whales from the sea more than they actually need they should not be greedy to catch whales sixth question what should the man gathering salt do he should not risk his hands to the greed of gathering salt so this extract ends here